seems like it's been a while. Um, but uh, this morning, just heading into town to pick up some drench or pour on for the young stock. And I've got the trailer on the back, and we're heading out to the runoff, and we're going to give all the heifers and calves a pour on, and then uh, bring back two. There's an imp, one that's aborted her calf, we're going to bring her back, she's a heifer, and we're going to bring back one that has been suffering from a bit of eczema. Um, she struggled as a calf, she was a bit, she struggled quite a bit, so we're going to bring her back and just see how she goes. So yeah, that's what the plan is today, so we'll see you out there. Alright, so here we have three heifers, uh, number 30 here, she's got a lump on the side of her neck which we're going to get a vet to have a look at, 37 the middle one, she struggled with a calf, um, she was doing alright when we pregnancy tested them, I didn't notice her go through, uh, so you know she looked like one of the other ones, and the far one, she's one that slipped, so we've had one heifer that slipped, so I'm taking them back because I can get rid of the other one you know sell her easier from at home and I can look after these two um, at home a lot easier rather than having to travel out here to the runoff so I'm taking these three back and uh, we'll sort them out at home all right so I'm onto the calves now I don't know if you noticed uh, I did a time lapse of the heifers and what happened was the, the gate that divides the two pens there. Uh, they must have pushed on it and opened it, so I ended up with the cows that had been had their paw on, mixing them with the the ones that hadn't. So I had to have a look through this pen and take any that um, hadn't had a paw on and put them back in here, and then run them through. And I had a few that uh, came through that already had a paw on, but luckily because they've had a paw on on their back, I was able to see who has had paw on and who's had the copper and B12. So. They didn't get any extra, it's just, um, yeah, just a bit of a pain, it takes a bit more time.
uh, the runoff. All the the heifers and the calves have all had their pour on and jabs. Um, so I disappeared at <coughs> lunchtime and uh, went in and picked up Ezra with the tractor. I needed to return a trailer, so I went past his uh, kindy and um, picked him up and uh, went and dropped the trailer off. He was pretty happy about that, getting picked up from kindy in the tractor. So, uh, and I've just uh, popped back now to finish off. So, uh, I've got a few jobs, got the vet coming out soon to uh, have a look at those heifers and feed out. Wash the vet. All those little jobs to finish off the day. Alright, so I've just had the vet out. Uh, the one that uh, my boss thought was empty, definitely empty. She uh, slipped probably about a week ago. And the one that was a bit skinny, she's got a form of woody tongue. Um, she must have had woody tongue earlier on, but wasn't um, correctly treated. And the other one, she just got a lump on her neck and uh, it's just an abscess. So it was actually starting to weep, so we've actually just left it and we're just gonna wait for it to um, open up a bit more and the pus will start to come out and uh, she'll be all good. So, it's a good afternoon. Sadie. Wave, Sadie. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you somewhere else on the farm. Thanks for watching. See ya.